Please get ready for dictation of an English rendering of Prime Minister's address, NASCOM Technology and Leadership Forum, posted on 17th February 2021 by PIB Delhi, Press Information Bureau Delhi. Five seconds. start it is not that these decisions revolve around technology only or these are administrative reforms or the government has withdrawn itself from particular policies or rules these decisions are indicative of india's competence india is confident that we will be able to keep the country safe and also give opportunities to the youth of the country who can prove their worth to the world even after making these decisions i had a sense of this problem whenever i had a discussion with you this decision has been taken with the idea that our young entrepreneurs and startups should have the full freedom to take advantage of the new opportunities that have emerged in this world the government has full confidence in the citizens of the country our startups and innovators with this confidence self certification is being encouraged friends in the last 6 years the products and the solutions that the it industry has prepared we have made them an important part of governance digital india in particular has empowered the common indian and has connected him with the government today the data has been has also been democratized and the last mile service delivery has also been effective delivery of hundreds of government services is being made online today effective use of technology in governance has also provided great relief to the poor and middle class and has also relieved them from corruption our digital platforms like fintech products and upi are discussed all over the world today including the world bank it is in front of us how we have moved from a heavily cash dependent society to the less cash society within 3 4 years the greater use of digital transactions is also choking the sources of black money each pie of the poor is reaching to him without any leakage due to jam trinity and dbt friends transparency is the most important condition of good governance this transformation is now happening in the governance system of the country that is why the public confidence in the government of india is constantly growing in every survey now the governance is being brought out of the government files and brought to the dashboard the effort is to ensure that the ordinary citizens of the country can monitor every activity of the government and the government departments on their phones whatever may be the work it should be before the country friends what kinds of questions were being raised about government procurement who among us does not know we all raised the issues and flagged our concerns now the entire government procurement is done through government government e marketplace through the use of digital technology and with complete transparency today most of the government tenders are invited online every project whether it is our infrastructure projects 
or the houses for the poor is being geotagged so that they can be completed on time even the mapping of village houses is being done with drones human interface is being reduced in tax related matters and a faceless system is being developed providing a fast precise and transparent system to the common man is what according to me means the minimum government maximum governance friends given the image and identity of indian technology in the world today the country has very high hopes and expectations from you you have ensured that our technology is more and more made in india i urge you that your solutions should also have the impression of make for india now we will have to create new criteria for our competitiveness if we have to take the indian technology leadership further in multiple domains and to maintain this momentum we will have to compete with ourselves in order to become a global technology leader the indian it industry will have to pay equal attention to the culture of excellence and institution building along with innovation and enterprise i have a special message for startup founders don't confine yourself to just valuations and exit strategies think how you can create institutions that will outlast this century think how you can create world class products that will set the global benchmark on excellence there can be no compromise on these twin goals for without them we will always be a follower and not a global leader friends this year we are heralding the 75th year of our independence this is the right time to make new goals and put the entire might to achieve them from now on we have to work on how many new world class products we would give and how many global leaders we have to create when india celebrates 100 years of its independence when we will celebrate the century after 25 26 years you set the target the country is with you such a large population of india is your great strength stop